tau overflows life moving into unknown life is always and constantly moving into the unknown and you are afraid you want life to move according to your mind according to the known but life cannot follow you it always moves into the unknown but that is why we are afraid of life and we want to manipulate it according to our own known understanding when problem comes we move to the dimension of hope but you have to remember life does not follow your way it has its own rhythm own flow that is why we are afraid of life and whenever we get any chance we want to kill life according to our own likes and dislikes and try to fix it when problem comes in darkness or difficulties come in we try to fix it with hope going into the future but the present moment says that this too will pass sun has its own way of movement as the earth moves on its own axis and around the sun the reflection of the sun falls differently on the earth and we feel it in the form of different temperatures of heat and so but we have to understand the functioning of the sun the functioning of the earth that each moment moves and gives way to the next so it is better to see this too will pass we try to fix it because the fixed prediction is possible if i love someone immediately mind will start working on how to marry the person or something else because marriage fixes things love is a flux love cannot be predicted so one knows where will it lead or whether it will lead anywhere or not no one knows it is floating with the stream and you do not know where the stream is going it may not be there the next moment or the next day you cannot be certain of the next moment but we are in the hope hope is a phenomenon of mind but the mind wants certainty and life is insecurity because the mind wants certainty so it becomes against love the mind is for marriage marriage is a fixed thing now you have fixed things so now the flux is broken now the water is not flowing it has become ice and you have something dead you can predict only dead things can be predictable you do not know you cannot predict a living phenomena a buddha is a living phenomena and as compared 
to an awakened one, you are a dead thing. The more something is alive, the more it is unpredictable. No one knows where life will move. So we do not want life. Instead, we want only dead things. That is why we go on possessing things. It is difficult to live with a person. It is easy to live with things. So we go on possessing things and things and things. It is difficult to live with a person and if we have to live with a person, we will try to make a thing out of that person as well. We cannot allow the person. A wife is a thing, a husband is a thing. They are not persons. Instead, they are fixed things. When the husband comes home, he knows that wife will be there waiting. He knows, he can predict. So is the case with the wife. If he feels like loving, he can love. And the wife will be available, the husband will be available. The wife becomes a thing. The wife cannot say, no, today I am not in the mood to love. Or the husband. Wives are not supposed, husbands and wives are not supposed to say such things. Not in the mood. They are not supposed to have moods. They are fixed institutions. You can rely on ins the institute. You cannot rely on life because we turn persons into things. Look at any relationship. In the beginning, it, it is the relationship of I and thou. But sooner or later, it becomes the relationship between I and it. The thou disappears. And then you go on expecting things. We say do this. This is the duty of the wife. And that is the duty of the husband. Do it. You will have to do it. It is a duty. It has to be done mechanically. And all duties are done mechanically. You cannot say, I cannot do it. Duty is a fixed thing. This fixedness is the fear of life. Life is a flux, therefore, nothing can be said about life. I love you this moment, but the next moment, the love may disappear. The moment before, it was not there. This moment, it is there, and it is not because of me that it is there. It just happened. I could not have forced it to be here. It just happened. And any moment, you can do anything. The next moment it may disappear and there is no certainty for the next moment. Such is the nature of life. Sun, the earth is moving on its axle and at the same time it is moving around the sun. The two speeds are different. So the position of the moon, the position of the sun will change with every moment. And with the change in the position, the distance between earth and the sun will differ. And that will determine the temperature, the weather conditions. The next moment it may disappear and there is no certainty for the next moment. Such is the nature of life. This human mind cannot understand. And the moment you understand this, the moment you understand this, you are beyond mind. 
but the mind wants certainty. Therefore it turns love into marriage. The living things becomes dead. Then you can possess it, you can rely on it. The next day also there will be love. This is the absurdity of the whole. This is the absurdity of the whole thing. You have killed the thing in order to possess it. And then you can never enjoy it because it is no more, it is dead. Love is an alive, moment-to-moment -moment pulsating phenomenon. In order that you could possess the wife or the husband, she and he have been killed. The beloved has become wife and the lover has become husband. It's like the furniture in your living room that cannot change its position. It has to be there where it is put. The beloved becomes a wife and a lover becomes husband. Now you expect husband to act as lover and wife should behave like the beloved. That is absurd. The wife cannot behave like a beloved. So too husband cannot behave like a lover. Both lover and beloved are alive. But now both are dead because husband and wives are fixed things like dead furniture. They may be decorative, they may be looking good. Both lover and wife, beloved are alive and now both are dead. The beloved was happening, the wife is an institution. And when the wife is not behaving like the beloved, then you go on saying, don't you love me? You loved me before, but this is not the same person. This is not even a person. This is now converted into a thing. First you killed her to possess her, and now you want aliveness out of her. Then the whole misery is created. This we consider as life. That's why we are afraid of life. Enough for now.